What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope that you guys are having a fabulous day or night. Today we are in another Master Duel tournament. We are in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Akoski Master Duel tournament uh, held by basically Akoski members. Um, I know the main one hosting it is Red Eyes Dragonite on Instagram. I'll have his Instagram popped up here. And yeah, so definitely check him out uh, for future tournaments like this. Uh, but this one is a 32 person tournament with prizes. So we're hoping to see how far we can go in this tournament. And today, like I said, we are facing off against Grandpappy Card Shop. And this is the deck we are gonna bring to today's duel. Obviously, I'm sticking with Fables. You guys know I love this deck. I cannot just give it up. Um, so I kind of redid the deck in Master Duel format. Uh, so we're playing with three Chawa, uh, you know, basically discard and then special summon it. Uh, one Cruz, uh, this one is basically to help uh, get a Fabled from the graveyard and special summon it once it's discarded. Two Cerebral, special summons itself when it's uh, discarded. Maxi for obvious draw power. Uh, a Bonk, this one basically you special summon uh, by discarding a Fabled when it's in the graveyard. Uh, you just call one fabled and then special summon it to the field so obviously it works really well with uh ganashia or cerebral um you got one kashano discard a fabled bring it back to your hand uh, uh gashina which is the same as cerebral discard special summon and then for the hand traps we got one ghost ogre three uh ash blossoms i feel like i should have added a different ghost card here but um we'll see how bad it bites me um two jackalope Two Suchinoko, two Grimro, um, one Celestial, uh, two Malice, three Nessies, one Danger Thunderbird, one Bigfoot, one Monster Reborn, Fusion Destiny, Stairway, two Called, and three Imperm. So, and then the extra deck is basically kind of basic standard stuff. Uh, obviously, we want to synchro span as much as possible to get into cards like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, Boral Load, uh, and Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, as well as. Uh, Baronang. Um, but yeah, so a lot of the stuff in here is basically using dangers to activate their effects to get Fable discarded, to special summon themselves, and to draw. And like I said, we we have uh, Phoenix Enforcer in here as a second kind of uh, engine to make sure that we, you know, have something, you know, to follow up on each turn until, you know, we're called by the grave. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Like I said, this is round one. Um, Let's see what we can do. And here we are facing off against Grandpappy Card Shop. Um, he's listed under as Gaming Pappy, but he's still the same person. So let's find out exactly what do, uh, deck he's bringing to today's duel. And let's just get started. So he is going first. Um, not terrible of a hand. It really all depends on what he has in his hand. Um, we got Ghost Ogre to kind of stop any you know on-field special summons. Um, that is okay. Oh, so he must be playing Black Wings. Um, that is fine. So basically, he's just spamming the field right now. Um, he has Bora, uh, Zephro. So he does have two level fours. Uh, so he can go into an Xyz play. Um, but he's going to probably go into a Link play here. So he got Raid Raptor, um, which I don't know. So he can special summon one level four Dark Monster in the deck in defense position but negates effect so I'm actually going to ghost ogre this um actually you know what no I should have impermed uh yeah I guess I'll imperm as well wasted two resources um <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking because I forgot that he could just have that um but he does have black wing zephyros that he can special summon this card um, and he can only activate it once per duel, so that is fine, but he can re-summon Bora, go back into the same play, and get the special summon, um, but like I said, he may have an Xyz if he's playing Raid Raptors, um, because Raid Raptors Xyz, uh, Xyz summons a lot, so we'll just have to see exactly what he brings, um, what he goes into here. So he does go into Raid Raptor Force. Um, if I remember correctly, he can add one level four Dark Wing Beast monster to his deck to his hand. So 
Let's see exactly who he brings. So one card that I'm wondering if he's playing is Rank Up Mat, any of the Rank Up Magics, and if he has any in his hand right now, because Raid Raptors love to rank up and it becomes such a pain to deal with, especially once they get their full board combo going. Um, so I'm just waiting on to see exactly what he brings to his hand. So he brings a Blackwing Auster. Basically, this is, I guess, a follow-up for next turn. So that is all he's actually doing. Um, let's see what we draw. Uh, we get a Danger Nessie, which is very, very good. Uh, so we're gonna activate Danger Nessie's effect. He discard. He gets rid of Sushinoka, which is unfortunate. I was actually more or less hoping that Fabled will go into the graveyard, but that's okay. We can still kind of combo off here by using Sushinoko special summon. Um, so he has something in his hand, I just don't know what. So I know he has a black wing. So let's just go into Chawa right now. Does he have Ash? No. So let's get rid of a Bonk. Summon Chawa. Because just in case he has something here, something that I'm planning on trying to do is go into Halk. Activate Halk's effect. All right, so with Halk, we are going to get Fabled Kashano. Does he actually have something else? And then we're going to go right into Baronet, or uh, Baron, the floor. All right, so he lets that go through. So let's activate Kashano's effect to discard Cerebral, bring back Kashano. He lets it go through. So he does have DD Crow, um, which is unfortunate, but I will let that go through only because I'm not going to waste Baronet's effect on DD Crow when I'm still going to get Cerebral and I'm still going to go into Verte and basically hope the steal the game from there. Um, so we'll go into Verte, activate Verte's effect, Fusion Destiny, Special Summon, Phoenix Enforcer, and then from here, um, instead of wasting um, Phoenix of Forcer, like, you know, Verte, I'm actually going to use uh, Baronet's effect to destroy Raid Raptor and then go into battle and attack directly with Phoenix Enforcer and, you know, Verte. An attack for 6,000 damage here, so um, he'll be left with 1,600. So let's see exactly with two cards left in his hand. Uh, what he can go into Hopefully Hopefully this seals the uh, game with having a uh, Baronet the floor and uh, Phoenix Enforcer, so It's unfortunate that Verte got banned uh, in the real TCG, but Definitely this is a reason why <laughs> so So we'll see if it ever gets banned in Master Duel, so he special summons um, Blackwing Gust, and then he summons. Um, I'm gonna activate Phoenix Enforcer to get rid of his tuner, and he surrenders. So we take game one in this match. So we're just one win away on going into the next round, and let's see if we can win uh, the second game um, luckily my misplay there with uh, Imperm and uh, Ghost Ogre did not come back to haunt me um, this hand uh, does not look good at all just because we do not have any other tuners besides Ash which we are gonna Ash here don't want him drawing take care of that but obviously it, it's all gonna depend on what else he has because there he goes, Blackwing Gust, and then you got Black Whirlwind. 
That is fine. I would have thought that. Oh, uh, it's normal summoned. Okay, so he can add a black wing to his hand. So he can add a basically a tuner. And then this one. So this one's going to increase its level to four. So he does get squall. So oh, it makes him go to four. Okay. So he copies the level. So you got four, six, seven. So he's going to go into a he may be synchro summoning. Um, or you can go into Halk and then get a different tuner. Um, but he does go into Raid Raptor, which will let him special summon a Dark Wing Beast from his deck in defense. So he's going to go into the Xyz, and then Raid Raptor is going to get him a rank up magic, which unfortunately is terrible for our end because, like I said before, him going into a rank up basically ranking up each uh, Raid Raptor becomes such a pain to deal with because their effects become even bigger and bigger um, and then he can also end on Zeus so but unfortunately there's nothing I can do to stop it so um, we do have a Monster Reborn so we could get one of his tuners um, in uh, Eroshi so that could be an option if we can get our plays off so he can special summon one Raid Raptor from his graveyard, but I don't think he had any, so. So he's gonna go into another uh, Raid Raptor. Most likely, oh, he's going into another Link. Oh, Rusty, yeah. Uh, so, so you can set one uh, Phantom Knight Spell and Trap directly from the deck. He activated the uh, Silent Boots to add a Spell and Trap Phantom Knight's card to his hand, which was Fog Blade. Now he's going into the rank up magic. So he has um, Banish one more dark, and then uh, going into a uh, ranking up into another Raid Raptor. So he goes into Raid Raptor uh, Arsenal, which right here it can attach one material, special summon one level four beast, uh, wing beast from the deck. Um, and you can attack as many times. And then you can special summon one Raid Raptor when it's sent to the graveyard. When So when this card goes to the graveyard, you can special summon one Raid Raptor Xyz from the extra deck. So, and attach that to it. So, that becomes a pain. So, he's Xyz. Um, summoning into Gaga -ga 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 Magician. Um, and what's this one do? So... He can detach one material and target one Xyz monster in the graveyard except Gaga special summon it to get its effects. Um, but I think his main purpose was to get this uh, the special summon another Raid Raptor and uh, Raid Raptor and attach it to it. So he has Ultimate Falcon, which I think is basically the boss monster of this deck. Yeah, because he's un unaffected by other card effects. And all monsters my I lose. Um, 1,000 attack. So then he activates the Phantom. So he can attach for the rest of the turn all monsters from my opponent. Basically, I uh, don't know if uh, it's going to let me. So yeah, um, this is going to be really fun to deal with. So basically, it, he detached a material from Gaga Gaga -ga -ga Magician to Special Summon Raider's Wing, um, but he does have another rank up. As well, so he has Time Thief Redoer. Oh, uh, this one's a pain because during the standby phase, attach the top card of my my deck as a material. So yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I don't think I can break this board at all. So, but we shall try. Probably should have been perm there, but just set and then let's. Activate Danger Nessie. So he hits the one card I did not want him to hit, but let's see. Yeah, that's not going to do me any good. So he activates Time Thief Redoer to basically banish. It basically places Nessie on the top of my deck, which is fine. Let's activate Danger Thunderbird, which he does send to the graveyard. So I am going to activate its effect. To destroy this. So that was Fog Blade. Just activate Stairway to the Fabled Realm. Basically, it gets to target one Dark Xyz 
and basically rank it up. So he's gonna go into a rank eight, which is DDD Duo Dawn. So basically that is game because yeah, there is nothing that I can do to stop this. So game three, uh, let's see if we can uh, manage a win here. You know, first game went, you know, perfect for us. But that second game, that his combos with the Raid Raptors, Raid Raptors can be a pain in the butt deck if you can't, you know, stop them uh, in their tracks. Uh, this hand uh, definitely shows some uh, promise, actually. So uh, let's activate Danger Nessie. So he sends Jackalope, which is actually fantastic. Uh, we just need a level 2 tuner because right here I will... Oh, there is the level 2 tuner. So we can get uh, Baron A. Um, so let's do Danger Bigfoot. Special summon him in defense. Um, and then let's normal... Actually, let's not normal summon because I can activate Chawa to special summon Halk onto the board. We're gonna go into Halk, activate Halk's effect to special summon. Let's just special summon a bonk here. Now we are going to go the uh, route of taking a chance of not having Ash hit. And yeah, Ash gets hit. So my goal is to try to get into Oh, we did get Ghost Ogre at least. Um, that won't do me any good, unfortunately. So, let's see. So, go into Verte. Activate Fusion Destiny. And get ourselves a Phoenix Enforcer. And from there, we will pass. If he can break this board, then yeah, most likely we're gonna lose. Um, I do have to use Ghost Ogre kind of uh, sparingly here because the effect will still go off. It will just destroy the card. So um, he does do a Lord of Darkness. I am gonna let that go through just because it burned me last game. So let's see exactly what he's going to do here. Um, like I said, I am going to try to, because once he goes into that Link Monster, that's where I feel like our, we're getting stopped. So um, I do, oh, he has a Kaiju. So that Kaiju definitely does not help. So you can banish one other, place one Black World one from the top from your deck, face up in your spell, and then either send this card to the graveyard immediately after its effect and normal summon it without tributing. Not special summon. Cannot special summon from the extra decks ex for, except dark monsters. So he does activate Black Whirlwind. Yeah, I'll let that go through. I was gonna, I was thinking about just taking, using Ghost Ogre to just destroy it, but I feel like destroying it will be pointless. So he activates uh, Harmanitan, the dust, to his hand. Um, which he special summons and then this one here so he's gonna become a level 8 so he goes into Raid Raptor so this one I am going to uh, I guess Phoenix Enforcer so I am going to destroy that but its effect will still be uh, active so he will special summon one Dark Wing Beast I have a feeling I should have probably used Ghost Ogre so he has Bora but I can save Ghost Ogre for that, um, uh, the Xyz monster, so. So he does go into Raider's Knight, which, uh, he can attach one material, special summon from the extra deck, one Phantom Knight to Raid Raptors. That's one rank higher or lower than this card by using this face up. Destroy it during your opponent's next end phase. I'm gonna just Ghost Ogre this. And destroy it. So doing my best here to try to stay in it does activate this so you can place one feather counter or place one wedge counter so you can special summon so he's basically going to add a black wing to his hand so I think he has two hum uh, no he has he already special summoned one of the Hermanitan so he has Chris 
So I think he's going to combo off here, and unfortunately, I think our tournament is going to be cut short. So he's going to get Zephyr special summoned here. So he's going to go into Four Strike, which he can add a level four Dark Wing Beast to his hand, um, which obviously can be any Black Wing or Great Raptor. Unfortunately, like I said, this match is starting to become one-sided again. Um, we were able to stop. Like that's the problem with Black Wings is that Black Wings can spam the field no matter what even if you stop their plays uh, they always have something that can you know help them you know re-establish uh, field presence so if you don't have like a way to fully stop their board at once it, it becomes such a nightmare to deal with so uh, basically he did get a raid raptor and this one is if he controls and exceeds his material yeah so he can special summon it, but its effects are negated. So he does go into Borload, Savage Dragon, um, which is a pain. Uh, expected though. So he gets his uh, Y Strike. Uh, so he does have enough attack points to attack over, and unfortunately, because of that, Borload is going to attack over um, Phoenix Enforcer. So. Um, which uh, may so unfortunately he's going to negate it here so one card that I'm actually looking hopefully to get is a see I'm honestly trying to think how I can get out of this situation here so I do have a, a plan so I can activate Mally. Um, to try to bait him. So have him bait into using Borload. Which he does not fall for, unfortunately. Uh, so I was not able to bait him um, into um, attacking or wasting Borlo's effect. So I am going to attack over this Raid Raptor and hope that he does not have the rank up, which he does not. Um, and from there, we're just going to end. Uh, I did not want to just set Maxi and then waste Celestial, uh, like waste Celestial's effect. Uh, Maxi, I would have more advantage in my hand. So hopefully. Hopefully we can get through this. Um, he may not even care. So banish three card, three to six cards. Um, he has eleven left in his extra deck. So, um, so he does banish six. Uh, I'm not going to use that. So he has night beam, black wing, black wing, Bora. Ooh, a phantom knight's trap. All oh, rank up. So let's see exactly what he brings. He might be bringing that. Oh. He, brings the black wing so he's got a normal summon and then he'll add a black wing to his hand let's see exactly which one he brings so he brings Boro the spear and then I'm gonna activate Maxi so I did get Borlo to waste its effect but honestly honestly I do think it's too late because uh, right here you can attack attack but he can go into another raid raptor play here I don't see us getting out of this at all so we'll just let it play through, let him play through his strategy, and possibly just call it a game here. So, so he is going to get Phoenix Enforcer out. So this is definitely going to be game here, because he can just you know destroy his equipped uh, Raid Raptor link to destroy you know any of my monsters. So he'll probably use Bora to crash into Mali. I'm surprised that he's not using Phoenix Enforcer's effect, but I don't think it actually matters because uh, right here is 44 points of damage still, so uh, that will be game. Oh, 1250. Was it, uh, I forget what card, was it the Kaiju? So I don't know what effect actually made it to where I only lose half damage there, but uh, I will take it. 
Um, he's probably going to still combo off here. There's really nothing I can do. The only thing that can help me is whatever I can get off of his Celestial draws. And then obviously you have Time Thief Redoer. So that is a pain in the butt to deal with. So we get Imperm. So we are going to be using Imperm because he's going to use Time Thief Redoer. So that is one heck of a draw. We stop his Redoer from activating its effect. And now we should be able to use Celestial. Um, which is unfortunate that we couldn't get rid of Phoenix Enforcer because obviously having Monster Reborn did not help. I don't know how I feel about this play. So you got a Bonk and Special Summon Ganasha. Um, right here he's most likely going to use Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, he doesn't. Um, so let's Special Summon Chawa. So right now... <laughs> I don't think there's any way for us to actually win, so I'm actually just kind of hoping um, that you know we can make a possible comeback. Um, but like I said, it's very, very unlikely. We would need basically everything to kind of go right in our favor to make sure that you know we can still combo off. He still has a play though, which, like I said, I think it's Phoenix Enforcer. So and now. He's going to let us get into Anrath here, which will let, will let us draw two more cards. Going to keep uh, trying. We're going to keep trying until uh, we can't anymore. Its effect is still going to go off. If we can somehow get Monster Reborn and a level 2 like Cerebral, for instance, and get uh, out Crystal Wing, that will be amazing. So we just need... Oh, we got Cerebral. Let's discard it. If he does not activate it here, I'm actually going to be going into Crystal Wing and we still have a chance to win. So he does use it here. Um, I knew that was going to happen, but that's going to be fine. So he's going to get rid of the Harmanitan and most likely my Cerebral or Anrath here. So, yep, that is perfectly fine. Uh, I am going to set call by and then go into Jackalope. Hopefully if Jackalope is, uh, so he does get rid of Ganasha. Letting me special summon Jackalope. And I do get Kashana, that's actually not too bad. What other play does he have? So this is 8 right here. Unfortunately, I need to be a Synchro Monster. But we could go into our own Boro Load. So we are going to go into Boro Load Savage Dragon here. Get it faced up on the field here. We're going to activate its effect. We're going to go to battle. And back into our Phoenix Enforcer. So we'll get our Phoenix Enforcer back because we can activate its effect. So this, you know, we were really on the brink of losing here, uh, but we actually were able to kind of, um, you know, trudge our way back into the game, um, especially because Borload will negate Time Thief Redoer. So if it tries to use its effect, and like I said, Borload has no other counter, so it's not going to work. Um, I am going to use Borload's effect here to negate it. It all really depends on what he has in that in his hand. So, so he's going to um, de detach to you know get it to re special summon afterwards, and then we are going to special summon Phoenix Enforcer once again. Uh, so glad that it's back on our side of the field. So uh, it really, like I said, it all depends. It really all comes down to what card he has in his hand. So he's going to battle, um, and we're just going to activate Phoenix Enforcer, Borload Savage Dragon, and activate its effect. So if he has nothing else here, 
we can possibly win the game. So he just sets and then passes. So he is activating Time Thief Redoer um, to special summon it, but we can negate it and this time it cannot um, get anything just because it has no materials. So special summon our Phoenix Enforcer. So he activates Time Thief Redoer. We are going to activate Boreload, negate the effect and destroy it. So that will take care of Time Thief. And then we're just gonna activate Fable to Bonk to discard Kashano, special summon, activate Grimro to get Kanasha. And then we're gonna activate Kashano's effect to discard Kashina. So basically what we're gonna be going into here is after we get Ragin out onto the field, we are going to go into Crystal Wing. First, we go into draw two cards, and then from here, we're just going to go right into Crystal Wing, and then we're going to set in Perm, in Perm, activate Shano, send Cruz, and then we are just going to special summon Grimro here. And we are going to activate and destroy whatever face down he had and go into battle to wrap up this match. Um, I, if my math is correct, this should be it. Yep, this will be it. So we take the first round of this grand tournament uh, held by Red Eyes Dragonite. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary. Um, it, it, I, I'm gonna, I promise you guys, I'm going to get better with my commentary. I just, just bear with me. <laughs> so, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're going to have many more matches of these, uh, especially, you know, depending on how far we can get, obviously. Uh, and then comment down below what you thought of this match and what you think I could do to improve or you know any combos I miss. Um, unfortunately I cannot change this deck throughout this entire tournament but you know who knows uh, we can still try to do what we can to make this deck uh, go as far as it can. Um, so I mean there was a few moves that Grandpappy uh, Car Shop could have done. He could have you know Phoenix Enforcer right into my you know Cerebral there to negate any of my draws. Because once that happens, there's no way I can, uh, you know, do anything. But obviously, I could have got Phoenix Enforcer back, but then he had Redoer still. So, but yeah, once again, hope that you guys enjoyed. I shall see you guys next time. And thank you to Grand Pappy Card Shop for an awesome match. Hope to duel you again uh, just for fun. Um, and until next time, I shall see you guys in our next TCG video. See ya.